Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you my terminal console setup that I use for my work and for my videos, which is something I get asked about quite often. I'll show you first what it does, and then I'll show you how to install it on Ubuntu Linux. Unfortunately, these instructions won't work on Windows. They should still work for any Unix system, including Mac OS. Although for that, you might need to use iTerm2 in addition to modifying the installation commands a little bit. So here's a quick tour of the terminal setup. I use a teal green color theme that for me is just kind of easy on the eyes. Above my command prompt, I have my current working directory path. I also have a git status indicator whenever I'm inside a git directory. This tells me which branch I'm on and if there's any uncommitted changes. There's tab targeting, which lets me cycle between all the options in my directory. There's also an autocomplete plugin that remembers a history of my previous commands. So I can get suggestions in that dark gray color as I start typing something out. The git status bar also changes color and tells me if there's something in my project that hasn't been committed. I've put my profile and installation scripts into a GitHub project, which I'll link in the video comments below. And you can follow the written instructions or read the steps yourself if you prefer that. We'll start by copying the script and then running it in the terminal. This will update the app repository of the machine and then install git and vim if it hasn't been installed already. Next, we need to clone the project. So type git clone and go back to the repository to copy the HTTPS link. Paste that into your console and then run the git clone command and you should have a local copy of the project. We'll change directory to inside that project and now you should be able to see the shell installation scripts. The first one we need to run is the install powerline.shell. This is actually a Vim plugin, but the important thing is that it installs the font that I'll use for the theme. And the font is special because it's had some of its glyphs replaced with things like arrows, icons, and stuff we'll need later for the terminal prompt graphics. To check if it worked properly, start up your Vim and you should see this new graphical status bar at the bottom. Next, we're going to run install terminal.sh, which installs zshell, kind of like an upgraded and more configurable version of bash. The script also installs a configuration framework called oh my zshell, which is how we'll eventually add these plugins and the theme via the terminal. When that's done, we'll run our last script, install profile, which will add the color highlighting plugin, the autocomplete plugin, and the color theme. Now we're done. If you restart the terminal, you should see that the color theme has changed, but the full profile doesn't really take effect until we log out and log in again. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, so I'm just gonna reboot real quick. And once I'm logged back in, you can see that the installation is complete We've got a status bar and all of our plugins. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.